Chapter 20 The Lord said to Joshua, Now tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge, as I instructed Moses. Anyone who kills another person unintentionally can run to one of these cities and be protected from the relatives of the one who was killed, for the relatives may seek to avenge the killing. Upon reaching one of these cities, the one who caused the accidental death will appear before the leaders at the city gate and explain what happened. They must allow the accuser to enter the city and live there among them. If the relatives of the victim come to avenge the killing, the leaders must not release the accused to them, for the death was accidental. But the person who caused the death must stay in that city and be tried by the community and found innocent. Then the one declared innocent because the death was accidental must continue to live in that city until the death of the high priest who was in office at the time of the accident. After that, the one found innocent is free to return home. The following cities were designated as cities of refuge. Kiddish of Galilee, in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem, in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. On the east side of the Jordan River, across from Jericho, the following cities were designated as cities of refuge, Bezer, in the wilderness plain of the tribe of Reuben, Remoth and Gilead, in the territory of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, in the land of the tribe of Manasseh. These cities were set apart for Israelites as well as the foreigners living among them. Anyone who accidentally killed another person could take refuge in one of these cities. In this way they could escape being killed in revenge prior to standing trial before the community.